Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're in my craft room where we are going to set up my fitness planner. I want to do a flip through. I stayed up way too late last night, hence the way I look. Uh, we did no getting up early and makeup and showers. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to show you what I did last night until like 11 o'clock, way too late, and um, I've got to print off and cut some stickers that I want to add to it. So I want to go through here, explain to you how I plan to use it, and maybe it'll inspire you to start working out and keeping track of your numbers or help you find a way to track your numbers and be the best you that you can be. So let's go. All right, so here's what we have for the very messy desk. Um, I made these on my Cricut and they're just for me to track my sleep. I'm obsessive when it comes to tracking all of my things, especially numbers. But very first, I want to show you this. I got it. Yay, I remembered. So, magnesium sulfate is really good for your lawn. And so, I am going to lay this down and um, allow the rainy weekend to soak it down into my yard. And then, I might throw some more grass seed down. I don't know. I'm just kind of doing stuff seeing what works um but i ultimately want to get to the point where i can do the mixture of a can of beer a couple of tablespoons of um or something like that I, i've got to look it up of dish detergent and i think just water after that and you spray that on your lawn it kills the weeds makes the lawn green and lush we did it years ago when I was married, and it works. And so I'm trying to figure out what that recipe was that we had found in a gardening book. And I think it's Jerry Baker. I think that's his name. He's a master gardener. That's the one I found on YouTube and the one I'm following because that's what I remember is the beer, the beer and the soap. And everybody was like, no, that didn't work. What are you doing? It works. All right, let's get to what we're here for. This is the um, current fitness planner put out by the Happy Planner. Um, I made these last night just to use up stickers on a in a sticker book. Um, it's just like bucket list, spring, summer, and you can put the date or put a check or do whatever. Fall, carve a pumpkin pumpkin everything, bake a pie, go on a hike. That's these two I really want to do. I want to go on a hike and go apple picking. And I want to go to a pumpkin patch. I miss having small kids. You used to do all that stuff. All right. Now, then I have one for the winter. Like create Valentine's, mail, you know, Valentine's, mail your um, packages, shop for you know groceries bake cookies for sand just fun this was my word of the year last year balance i was trying to find balance between work school and youtube i did not do very well <laughs> i mean you know i put out videos but i wasn't putting out nearly as much as i wanted but I really can't be angry with myself because only I know what I can handle. And I like to always overload myself and whatever. So we're going to keep balance because I'm still in the process of trying to get my life together. And last night I was up until 11 o'clock uh, playing with stickers and setting up this happy planner because I was like, that's a very long process. Nobody wants to watch that part. Maybe you do. I don't know. Um, 
and don't even know what my story was, but, uh, balance. Oh, and so just getting back into my happy planners and setting goals and having checklists and getting excited about being able to plan again makes me feel like, hey, I'm getting my life together. I'm being a I'm able to do the things I want to do again because my time isn't filled with work and school, work and school. A little bit of YouTube, work and school, work and school. I love doing YouTube. I wish that I had a bigger audience, but, you know, maybe it, my channel isn't for everybody. But, maybe it is, and people just haven't found out how fabulous I am yet. <laughs> I'm not editing that out. Y'all can have fun with that. All right, so I want to find balance this year. I want to get my life together. I want to feel organized. I want to have a plan and stick to it and not fall off the wagon with my, with my exercise because I found an easy excuse in somebody else's mother died, so she can't go to the gym, so I can't go to the gym. No, we're not doing that. I've got to stick with it. It's my health. It's my life. I only get one, and I have to get real about it. Um, I, yeah, the weight, the cholesterol, the all of it is just terrible. This is, I don't even know if I've shown you this yet, any of this. Um, it feels like I have, but maybe that's just because I was sitting in this spot doing it, but... This is my visual board, my vision board, I guess. Um, I want to take my measurements before I start exercising, put the date, and then, you know, maybe in a year or something, take my measurements again and put the date. When I lose 15 pounds, I'll put it here. When I lose 5 pounds, I'll put it here in the date. 20 or 10 and 20. And then, you know, if I reach my goal or something, whatever, there. So, I'm, these, this is all stuff left over from 2022 that I just am reusing for 2023. <laughs> and hoping maybe it works this time. Because I made it all pretty and colorful and fun. And that doesn't put you in the gym. So, that's nice. Okay. Gym days, Monday through Friday. Um, in the summer, it's going to be a little bit different because during the summer, we don't, we aren't as busy. So we have two days in which we work from home. So I will explain what my gym routine will be during the week. Um, my goal in the beginning used to be to ride 10 miles a day on the week. <laughs> Maybe five days, one day, five miles, one day, five miles, we don't know. I will also say that we'll go over this as well, but Sundays will be uh, cardio. I usually go to the pool with my niece and her husband, and we do laps, and we race, and we play, and have fun. And so that's, you know, I consider that um, like a cardio day. Um, I want to do strength training. I want to increase my walking of my dog to three to five times per day. I don't know that I can do that during work days, but work from home days I can. Raise the bar weekly, which is basically saying, all right, I did two push-ups this week. Every day this week, I'm going to do three. And I'm telling you, that's where I'm starting. Like, I probably can't even do one push-up. But I'm going to try, and I'm going to keep getting. And when I get to that one, I'm going to celebrate. And then the next week, I'm going to two. And I'm going to keep doing two until I can get to three. It's going to be a long process. It is a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. And I'm not going to look back. I am not going to say, man, this time last year, I only weighed this much. And now I'm this much. And I could, do, I was so good. I was like on the fourth or fifth level on the butt. No, we're not doing that. Fresh start. Actions. Achieve. My goals. Cardio and strength every other day. Meal plans so I can eat better on the weekends. Eat healthy. Get a minimum of 10K steps per day. Increase weights. Push myself each week. 
lose 10 pounds and this is where I had to change the date because I had 2022 there uh, and I'm saying by the end of the year I, you know because last time I was like I'm gonna lose 10 pounds in three months that isn't happening that is not happening okay we're too old for that that doesn't happen all right so these are my real numbers and you get to see them and it's fine I'm only 59 inches tall which is like four foot ten I think um and I weigh currently 123 pounds when I was 45 years old I weighed 83 pounds at nine months pregnant with each of my three children the most I got up to was 113 pounds this is absolute nonsense I have like 40 pounds to lose my blood pressure was good 100 over 60 my BMI is 24.84 it's you know right at the overweight mark due to my cholesterol I'm considered obese and that fine I couldn't find my cholesterol levels in my app for my doctor so I'm gonna have to go on their website you know go into the patient portal and see if I can find it there and if I can't I'm gonna have to call the nurse and tell her to give me my numbers because that's another thing I want to track I want to track my weight I want to check track make sure my blood pressure is good or better I want to make sure that my cholesterol is dropping um, you know just general health March 4th, 2022, my BMI was 24.03, 59 inches still, only weighed 119, my BP was a bit higher at 115 over 70, my LDL was 104, which was high, my uh, blood count was normal, uh, and this is just a metabolic panel, anion is checking for if you're dehydrated or something like that that was a fluke number so they retested and it came back normal but my um my ldl let's see total cholesterol my total cholesterol was 300 it's probably right there or a little bit higher now so the risk of a heart attack more than doubles for me my total cholesterol should between, be between 140 at a, at a maximum of 200. So I've got 100 points to lose. The LDL should be below 100. They prefer it around 70. These are all the notes I took last year. And I wanted to transfer it to this new sheet for this year, but I don't have those numbers. So they prefer LDL to be around 70. The HDL, the LDL is your good cholesterol. HDL is your bad cholesterol. Um, above 50, they prefer 60. Triglycerides should be below 150. So, in order to lower this HDL, um, I went to a nutritionist because my doctor was not giving me any guidance, any help. I went to see a new doctor this this go round and it was a completely different experience it was the way it should be she gave me a pamphlet on lowering it was just fabulous so i'm switching doctors i'm staying with practice but i'll switch doctors just i mean it it should not be i felt very dismissed i felt like i was oh yeah she just has anxiety we can just dismiss all of her feelings and i don't know i just didn't didn't care for it anyway so I had to go see a nutritionist at work which I could do for free and so I met with her once a week for like a month and I would you know eat the foods that we just decided together would be best for me based on my activity level at that point which I was doing the gym I was in the gym riding the bicycle for a half an hour every day at lunch um, and I was tracking my food. I would go to her. We would look at it. And, you know, so we had decided that I need to eat soluble fiber to lower my HDL. 
Those include black beans, lima beans, avocado, broccoli, kidney beans, carrots, apples, sunflower, and oats. Um, these must be some notes I took when I was visiting with her. LDL lowering foods, soluble fibers, oats, beans, nuts, like walnut, walnut, mm, walnuts, and almonds, oils. I use olive oil. I think I used to use sunflower, but then I switched to olive oil because, I don't know, they just say extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil is really good for you. I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. I'm trying to make this not a six-hour video. <laughs> We're at 15 minutes. All right. Fruits, apples, grapes, strawberries, sterols, and stanols I need to be including into my diet. That is something I learned through talking to this nutritionist. I had never heard of those words. I need to get like two grams a day through nuts or soybeans. To lower my triglycerides, I exercise. I will avoid sugar, refined, or fructose, which is added sugar. Avoid saturated fats like cheese, whole milk, red meats. Fiber over white bread. So I would want to do like oat breads. Um, I guess I'm saying don't eat a lot of flour. Fiber over white oats. Beans, avocado, we don't know. Good fat, avocado, nuts, chicken, olive oil, no trans fats, omega-3s. Omega I do not eat fish. I do not eat any kind of seafood. Never have liked it. So we, you know, talked about things that I could get this omega-3 from without having to eat fish. So it's like walnuts, spinach, kale, salad greens, beans, no alcohol, no sodas. I don't drink a lot of alcohol. Occasionally I'll have a beer or two. Sodas is going to be hard. I have at least one a day. <clears throat> uh, she said to look at the label for added sugars, things like brown sugar, corn syrup, anything ending with O-S-E. O -S -E. Um, you want to use raw sugar, molasses, or honey for your sweetener. Hope I taught you something. That's what I learned. Hope I didn't bore you. Okay. So here is the currently page. And I can put in here what my goals are for the first quarter, right? For the first four months of me working out. Um how my mind is now, what I'm thinking about, where I want to be, whatever, whatever I want to put here. Haven't decided that yet. I've put labels on each of these. So we have June, July, August, September. I went through and put the dates on the calendars. Uh, the 4th through the 8th, I will be on vacation because this week, sometime within this week, I should hopefully be getting that. Have I even talked to you all about that? I don't think I have. That's the week of starting my Invisalign, and we will probably talk about that in, uh, probably that week. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to hold off to do another video for Toothy Tuesday. What a cheesy name. Um until I actually get the Invisalign because anything could happen. It might not be right for me, whatever. So I want to wait to do more on that. Um, so yeah, I'll be out of the office on these days and then I have a retirement seminar through my job that I'm going to from like eight to four that day. I just want, I mean, I've got, you know, another 10, 15 years to work, but I just want to start thinking about should I increase my retirement? What I'm putting into it? Is it going in all the right places that I want it to go? How can I best set myself up for retirement? Just normal stuff. Sundays will be weigh-in days. Do I need to do it every Sunday? No, but am I obsessive? Yes. If I lose two ounces, it's going to be celebrated. Because I have numbers. Numbers are my thing. 
And then I went through and I had these stickers like Donut Day, Hug Day, Love Your Pet Day. And I went through and I put them on these different calendars. And I'm like, of course, like three days into me starting to work out, it's Donut Day. <sighs> Whatever. That's my birthday. I'll be 27. Can you believe it? Yeah, nobody can. All right. Here I want to make some sort, I don't know, I might just put like a, a regular box. I made some boxes for my um, planner. I made them on my Cricut and I just was putting them all in here. So I've got like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, gray, black, you know, pink. Then I've got smaller headers half boxes have to have every color these are old stickers that I've had forever these are probably 20 years old right here and to weigh so yeah I could probably fit one of these stickers let's just check it out see what happens if this one would fit Yep, yep. So I might pull up that, put this underneath of it, and then um, probably just write in whatever exercises I did. So that's going to go there. Um, I'm going to show you the week first, and then we'll go over this goals page. So I made these stickers as well on my uh, Cricut because another thing that's hard for me to do is to drink water. I need to drink more water, less soda, less coffee. Well, the Invisalign should help with that because when they're in, which is 22 out of 24 hours a day, all you can have is water. So I'm hoping that will help. I don't know what I'm going to do about coffee yet. I haven't even thought about it yet. All right. So I want to track or at least list out what exercises I did. Like if I do strength training on this day, I want to put, you know, how much weight I was lifting, you know, what where my starting point is so that I can go through this planner a year from now and go, oh my gosh, I only started at five pounds and now I'm at 205 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's weight that I'm pushing, not gaining. Okay. Um, so I made these because another thing I want to track is my sleep. I don't get enough water. I don't get enough sleep. Since I have graduated from my classes, I am trying to get myself on a schedule. And I started with going to bed by lights out by 1030 and getting up by 645. Well... I'm a night owl, and then I get in here and I'm playing with stickers. Next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock. I didn't get up today till 7.15. <laughs> and my sleep score was a 71. Oh, this is my Fitbit. We'll go through that too if you want. We'll do all things fitness. How about that? So I made these just regular Avery um, sticker paper from Walmart. Ten bucks. And then... I'm going to put them right there so that I can check my water and my sleep every day and see if it's improving, getting worse, what do I need to change, how am I feeling, all of that, right? So, I'm just going to have those stickers there. Down here, this is for my food, okay? I'm going to put like breakfast calories here, snack calories there, the calories I consume, the numbers. Okay, the numbers, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. Total calories in, total calories out. I'm going to use my Fitbit to tell me how many steps I have taken and I can record them there. This is just to tell me what day it is. Uh, Memorial Day will be cardio. Uh, because we'll be at the pool. Uh, Tuesday, I'm working from home. 
Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll be working from home. I'm still going to do strength, but I'm just going to do it here at home. I'm going to try a push-up. Sure am. And a sit-up. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, that's where we're going there. So this will be... Let's, let's fix this right here really quick. And then we will... This is why I like the Happy Planner. You can pull the pages out when you're old and can't see and you got to pull everything close because oh, the stickers are clear who can see clear past the age of 40 okay so there's that now I'm going to put my red sticker box there what a perfect color for Memorial Day. And I'm a little obsessive. This is why I try not to plan too much on my channel because I get a little obsessive with it being perfect. All right. Then we're going to take the Memorial Day sticker and we'll put it down here. So then I can take um, an orange and they're a little bit larger than the boxes in this planner. That's fine. I've wanted them to be larger than too small some reason I was okay with larger not smaller okay that looks like crap but whatever so there we have what we're going to be doing each week I, I don't know that I'm gonna have these lines like this I really don't like the way that looks I switched to I have these bullet points I might do the lines but I'm gonna have to use my uh, my bullet point liner that makes them straight because <laughs> apparently I can't draw straight even on grids. All right, then here I'll have total in, total out. Okay, so that's how that's going to go. Then on goals, let me see if I can... I don't know if I can find a page from last year. I think I got mad and threw them all out. Um, yeah, I think those are going. Anyway, what I had on these was whatever my weekly goal was. Um, steps to make it happen. Uh, get up and do it. Steps to make it happen okay these are three steps to make it happen get up get dressed go to gym whatever um you know my goal this week is to exercise every day of the week um not to push myself to the point of pain and don't obsess too much over my numbers and don't push myself too hard because i'd love to overdo it um, what I did on the back the last time, I swear I have a paper of this somewhere. I have to find it. Anyway, I took these and I counted them out and I divided them up between breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And I would write every single piece of food that went into my mouth for each one of those meals. Because over here, I had the amount of calories but I wanted to see what I was getting to get all of those calories. That I'll probably do that again. I mean, it worked. It worked for me. It helped me to see what I was eating, where I needed to curb myself, you know. It helped me with portion control. Like, you know, it says, oh, well, you can have two cups of vegetables, but like a quarter of a cup of red meat. And I'm like, that's a, yeah, yeah. got to do it. All right. So, yeah, that's 
that's basically how I've set it up. Um, I ran out of my step stickers, so I thought. So I start, started putting these on there. And then I found them again. Uh, ice cream day is on weigh-in day. Friendship day is on weigh-in day. Lipstick day. Oh, you can't see that. Lipstick day. That's cute. Found my steps again. So I put the rest of them in there. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and put all of my stickers in. And then I think what I'll do uh, for Fitness Fridays is fill out my fitness planner with you. And let you see exactly what I'm doing every day of the week. If this is something you would like to see, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, so I've decided along with my fitness um, that I want to try the Mediterranean diet. Now that relies heavily on fruits, veggies, and fish, right? Seafood. I don't like seafood. So I was Googling, what do I do if I don't like seafood? Found like 30 recipes. We're good. I can make it happen. Just alter them a little bit. All right. Sorry, my battery died. Um, so... I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit long and chatty, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing for me personally. And I'm hoping that I can help someone else out there that wants to get their life in order, get their health back, get their weight under control, get their blood under control, their, their not their blood, but their cholesterol levels, all of that. That's what I'm looking to do. I'm not trying to live to 200, but I would like to live past 60. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey through my fitness planner. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If this is something that you would like to do weekly, um, if you would like for me to do plan with me's and decorate in my work planner, my budgeting planner, my fitness planner, whatever. Let me know in the comments, and until the next time, I will see you then. Bye, everyone.